now we're going to talk about the profit and loss statement or P&L stuff it's called. Now, a profit and loss statement is very simple at the end of the day. It's going to contain three things, which I have here on the board, and these can be further broken down, and there's a longer conversation on each of these, but just to keep it simple, first we have sales. Sales are going to be revenue or what's called gross earnings. Sometimes we call it top line. Then you're going to have costs, and we'll get into how costs are recognized within a business a bit later. But really, it's any expense that is actually recognized in a business. Now, either that's going to be something that actually hits the bank account, or it's going to be something where an invoice is received and paid. Now, what do you get when you take costs from sales? You get your net, right? Net essentially is what's left. It comes from the Latin word meaning trimmings. So if you used a piece of cloth for something, whatever is left, the trimmings is going to be the net. Again, uh, what really matters is going to be what you have after all is said and done. This is what a bank is going to give a loan on. This is what the taxing authorities are going to assess tax on. So get very comfortable with the way things flow here. We're going to get into an example here to really drive home this point. So let's jump right into it. All right. So we just talked about the three main components of the P&L and I want to just get into it and diagram it out here visually and then get into what it would look like on an actual profit and loss statement. So let's do an example where we've got deductions. Of, let's just say that it's going to be 80. So I'm going to write in here to denote that our deductions come out here. Uh, and I'm actually going to write deductions here. And let's say that our deductions or costs are going to be 80, right? And then we ask, well, where is the net? So in this case, we have more earnings than deductions, right? You can see the top line of deductions and the top line of earnings. And this is going to be our net profit. So I'm going to use the color green to denote that things are good. And this is where our net is going to fall. So as you can see here, we've got our net profit of 20 and we have deductions of 80. Now let's get into how that's gonna look like on a profit and loss statement. So if we go over to our example one, we have sales of 100, okay, cost of 80, and we have a net profit of 20. And that all ties out here, right? Our profit's showing up and we're good. Now one thing I wanna highlight is that from an accounting standpoint, sometimes you'll see costs show up as negative you won't see the line denote the negative. What you'll see are parentheses. So I'm gonna use that because I wanna get used to that showing up in how we present the numbers. And it'll be important for the next example. So oftentimes when we start a business, our deductions are gonna exceed our earnings. And I wanna demonstrate what that might look like. So let's take an example where our deductions do in fact well exceed what we earned that year. And this is not uncommon for a business, right? So in this case, these are still our earnings, right? From here to here, we still have the 100 in earnings, but now we have deductions of, let's say, 120. So now we have a significant amount of deductions and we have less earnings, and this is all gonna get eaten up by the deductions as well, right? So now we have deductions up here. So what happens? We still have this difference between our top line of deductions and earnings, and this is going to represent our net. So our net is still the difference between those, but in this case, it's going to be negative. So I'm going to write that out over here. Our net is going to be, I'm going to denote it as positive, but the difference in absolute terms is 20. So how do we show that on a P&L when that happens? Well, Let's draw it out in our example here, right under our previous one. So we had sales of 100, Spruce or forward. Our costs have changed. So what number goes here? And hopefully you're mouthing to yourself 120, okay? And again, we're showing that up as negative. Now our net was 20, but because our deductions exceed our earnings, that's gonna show up as negative. So again, we're gonna show our negative sign as negative 20, and that's how we show up on the PL. Now, there's several ways to get into these specific, each of these specific categories. So for example, you might have sales from different sources. You costs are going to break down, but at the end of the day, you're going to come up with your net. It might be 
a positive number, as you see here, it might be a negative number. The key to understand is that when it is positive, of course, we're gonna call it a net profit. And when it's a loss, you might see loss and you might actually see it in a bracket. So you have your net profit and net loss. And there you have it. That is our overview on how the PL works.